because you primarily work with top agents, mm-hmm. what approach do they take if it's not mental toughness? Okay, good. And, I, and I'm going to relate it to uh, Carolyn's comment here, which is, you know, like people won't like me. Mm. So that that occurs when we have an ineffective framework. I've, I'm just going to use something from the yeah. from the report. So in the report, what I find is that most people are working up here. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and most people are working up here in in their uh, essentially self realization. And so in self realization, you're trying to affirm yourself. You're you're trying to remove some of your um, self-loathing and anger about yourself, things like that. You're trying to uh, build your self-esteem. But Maslow's hierarchy of needs is actually still working on needs. Mm. And anytime you're working like, I need to feel better about myself. I need to feel like I deserve it. I need to be empowered. Anytime we're operating inside of needs, your subject to the hidden motives to survive. So the hidden motives to survive are like the framework for how we survive. They're the contextual frameworks like greed, grudge, hatred, victim, illogical rules, humble trade, pride or resistance, lazy luck. So down here are the hidden motives. So you're working on your positive mindset up here, but it still sucks you down into this stuff. Yeah, they're insidious. They're insidious. So the way that we get ourselves into a place where we're empowered, delighted, energized to do lead gen and prospecting, how we get over Carolyn's uh, idea about like people won't like me, like the way we do that is actually by taking on the four pillars of the rapid alignment process. Now, I've been, I have been working with tens of thousands of people for years and years and years, decades actually, trying to figure out how do I get people to do the things that they want to do? And it turns out there are four very simple things. One, you have to become aware of the unconscious reflexes of the drunk monkey. Two, you have to become aware of and transcend the hidden motives to survive. Three, you have to learn to address or engage something called enlightened perspectives, which are perspectives that assume that all is well. And four, you have to learn how to recontextualize. And here's what it does. It makes you eager. It makes you interested. It makes you curious. Like when you're eager, interested, and curious, you're not thinking, oh, do people like me? You're not thinking that at all. You're just like, huh, I wonder what's going on with this person over here because I'm not working on myself. Right. I'm not trying to fix myself, which is what all personal development does. You're trying to fix your broken self, except you're not broken. Mm -hmm. And so when you take on the, the four pillars of the rapid alignment process, you ascend into these states where you're like, no, I'm okay. Yeah. And when you know you're okay and you feel good about who you are, then you're curious and you're open and you're interested. And wow, does that make prospecting and lead gen and lead follow up and past clients and fear of influence and being in an open house or whatever you're doing, like yeah. instantaneously, it's way better. Yeah. There's I, two more things though. Okay. Two more things. I, I, I want to just make sure that we cover them. The other thing is people have to run experiments. Yeah. Like if you don't run experiments, you're going to essentially say like calling for sale by owners is the way. But that's BS. That isn't the way. That might be one way, Mm -hmm. but it might not be the way for you. And what you have to be willing to do is accept that you don't know. Even more important is accept All of your coaches and all of your leaders and all of your teachers and your brokers and the other agents, they don't know either. (laughs) They have things that work for them and they go, well, if it worked for me, it's going to work for you. No, that's not true. You have to get into this open, curious state. Yeah. And then you have to run experiments to see like what actually works for me in my life, given all of these crazy conditions that I have which are unique to me. All right, I apologize. I I got a little spicy there. It's so valuable. And I, I used to do networking events. And when I got into a place of, oh, if I just go to these networking events and can be curious and interested and yep. supportive, mm-hmm. it made the experience for me so much more pleasant. Way and, better. Yeah, Way so much better. better. So what if you can fall in love with lead gen? Oh, yeah. And as a result, experience a huge jump in sales, in listings, yep. in referral partners. Yes. 
There's actually a mindset and a set of processes that Matthew teaches that can help you do exactly this. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about today. But before we keep going, and it's in my report, it's in the report. If you're ready to start creating miraculous results for yourself, if you're ready to give up the grind, if you want to work less mm -hmm. and make more, yep. make sure you check out Matthew's new report and his video that outlines the three key results you can achieve by applying, uh, applying his science-backed proprietary methodology. I apologize for making such crazy words and put the, putting them all <laughs> <laughs> proprietary science packed <laughs> mindset methodology yeah, yeah. so you follow all that yeah. make sure you click the link in the description